very good morning dear students today we will see the boundary layer separation okay see what see before that uh, we will just uh, in case see the velocity profile uh, we have seen in the last cases for the uh, laminar flow right uh, in, the, in the turbulent case how it looks like okay see uh, no need to study that much detail see when the velocity profile is no mentioned in the turbulent flow okay that case what you have to do uh, you have to take in when velocity profile is not mentioned uh, then it is in case of a turbulent flow right a turbulent turbulent flow see the laminar class we already discussed but in the case of the turbulent you have to keep remember this the delta that is 0.38x times the x divided by uh, Reynolds number raised to 1 by 3 okay and the uh, local skin friction coefficient that is the cfx is equal to 0 0.0 y9 divided by rex okay rex uh, it's raised to 1 by 5 sorry here also it is 1 by 5 it's not 3 here it is 1 by 5 okay and the local skin friction coefficient that is a cfl local uh, it's not local it's average skin friction coefficient right that is a cfl is equal to 0.074 divided by r e raised to 1 by 5 this value you have to remember minus 174 divided by r e l okay this thing you have to remember let me change the color of the pen okay see one more thing here <sighs> see when I look uh, when <sighs> see at the r e when this Reynolds number is right local in when it is right uh, uh, in in uh, leading edge at this right so uh, okay this much is sufficient you you bring uh, you kept this thing in uh, mind okay when there is the turbulent flow is given yes I know this is little but difficult for you guys to understand this but you, at least anyhow you have to remember this okay uh, now we will go on to the see uh, in the turbulent flow or a flat plate when you see the velocity profile what happened about the velocity profile okay turbulent flow or flat plate turbulent flow over flat plate okay that is u by u infinity okay see in the linear case when it is a laminar flow you are writing this just y by delta now you have to write here 1 by n okay in case of just you this thing you have to uh, keep uh, remember okay let me yes uh, yes i think that i have to take this yes i have to make this like this right can you remember this thing yes this thing you have to remember in case of the turbulent flow where see where delta now where delta right uh, delta star that is the displacement thickness is equal to 1 upon n plus 1 see the value of n varies from 5 6 7 8 like this okay 9 up to 9 and the delta is 1 by n and the theta is n upon n plus 1 and n plus 2 okay this just this thing you have to remember okay because sometimes the question asked in the gate now we'll start a boundary layer theory let me check whether my video is recording yes it's recording okay in the boundary layer theory what the boundary layer separation now we'll start the our topic that is boundary layer separation
okay in order to explain this boundary layer separation you know uh, uh, oh, in venturimeter we have discussed this right if suppose how the venturimeter looks like let me draw the venturimeter here it see the venturimeter looks like this right this is how the convergent portion of the venturimeter okay and this is the divergent portion okay which is too much long okay it's uh, gradually reducing while the convergent portion is rapid redu uh, rapid reducing right so this is the see here this the flow is in this direction that is the x direction if i consider the element one here in this and one one element over here if i see from this what i will get this is element one this is element two the flow is occurring in this direction this is what the x direction okay see here in this region the dou p by dou p by dou x Okay, uh, I got one call. That's why I need to talk on that call. Okay, yes, hold down. First again, the call comes back. Okay, okay we'll start. Right, it's a, a boundary layer uh, separation. Where we are? Yes, it, see, in this region, this is what the convergent region, right? See, whether it is recording, yes, it's recording, no problem. This is what in the convergent region, the, the, this value of dou p by dou x is less than 0, right? And here in this divergent region, this value of dou p by dou x is greater than 0. Are you agree with this? This is called the, let me write here, this is called uh, negative, this is the negative pressure gradient, right? Negative pressure gradient, this, and this is the positive pressure gradient. Okay, in this uh, region. Now see, I will see the elements, one which I have considered and two elements I will take here and I will explain this in detail now. <sighs> see, the element which, the in the first element, okay, which we have taken here, see the pressure is acting here, that is P over here, right? And also there is a pressure in this direction also, okay, which is by Taylor series, if you expand this by dou P, dou P by dou X into DX, right? This is what the pressure means the pressure suppose i call it as a p dash pressure means i can easily understand that that is pressure at see this is my one pressure and this is pressure at uh, two okay this is i'll call it as a, a p, p2 okay see the pressure one is uh, right this pressure here the pressure is more right uh, than here Okay, means uh, pressure 1 is greater than P1, P2. Right, so I can, if I move along this x direction, then what I will get, that is a dou P by dou X, right, which is less than 0, right. I can easily say from this. Right, any doubt here? Uh, see, here okay i have to multiply this by area also because i cannot take this pressure okay the area where what is this and this area here also i have to multiply this by area okay so the net pressure force is in a positive x direction right that is what the flow direction the net pressure the net pressure force is force is in positive means this pressure is higher right this force is higher this force is lesser okay so i have to take here negative instead of positive i have to take this negative okay positive in a positive x direction right so the flow is this is what the flow direction right flow direction and if i check for the other element that is this element number two okay here see this is what my element number two right 
in this the here uh, this pressure is more okay this p2 dash this is what the p1 and this is the, this is the, this is the p2 and it's p2 okay you see if uh, do p by do x is greater than 0 then i can easily say that that's p2 right p2 dash is greater than p2 okay from this i can say like this so the net force is in uh, negative x direction right the net net pressure force net pressure force is in negative negative x direction see if this force is in negative x direction then opposite opposite flow direction see there is a possibility of here possibility of possibility of back flow here right back flow you understood this any doubt here Let's see how the back flow is getting here let me explain this this is what our uh, the venturi meter right it is a convergent section and it is a divergent here right see if i take a section here suppose initially the velocity profile is here but there is a possibility of the velocity profile looking in case of the back flow right uh, here like this back flow will takes place right see the flow is backing here right see at this section the flow is here like this but here there is a reverse flow or back flow this is called the adverse pressure gradient right means i can write that is dou p by dou x is greater than zero means positive pressure gradient right positive pressure gradient and it is a adverse pressure gradient right it is also called as adverse adverse pressure gradient right see the adverse pressure one more thing is adverse pressure gradient is necessary let me write here adverse pressure gradient adverse pressure gradient adverse pressure gradient is necessary necessary but not but not sufficient condition for flow separation but not sufficient condition for flow separation right uh, it is not uh, see also why it is not sufficient uh, see only the adverse pressure gradient is necessary see this this word this statement is very important please read it carefully adverse pressure gradient is necessary but it is not sufficient condition for the flow separation then what the sufficient condition is now the question will comes in mind we will see that what the sufficient condition is see uh, suppose this is my velocity profile right like this the velocity profile is here okay see here uh, if i draw here see the the velocity gradient right this is what the positive see the velocity gradient is positive here means uh, do u by do y do u by do y that is at y equal to 0 is positive right and so the see flow is flow is separated okay okay <sighs> flow is not separated here right in this case flow is not separated right flow is not separated okay it is attached to the surface right means the tau that is tau wall shear stress is mu times du by dy at y is equal to 0 right see now <clears throat> now the other case one the the case may be like this see this is what the flow flow may be like this right like this the flow will go right here it is attached right like this it will take you understood this now 
if I draw, see here in this case, du by dy is, right, is equal to 0 in this case, right, see, du by dy is 0, right, because y gradient, see, the y gradient, see, y gradient tends to infinity means du by dy is 0 in this case. Now, in this case, let me, the, here the flow is, flow is just, okay, at the verge of separation, right, at the verge of separation. Whenever the flow is at the verge of the separation, right, du by dy is equal to 0 means the tau wall is equal to 0, right. Okay, now we will see the one more, uh, the another case when the, the flow will separate. See, when, suppose this is, right, see, so if the it will make like this, like this is what the velocity profile, okay. See, now in this case, what the du by du is? Here in this case, du by dy is less than 0, right, means here I can say flow is flow is separated. You understood this? And here the tau wall shear stress is negative. Okay, guys. I think this is how. Uh, let me. Uh, okay, okay. I cannot zoom this. Furthermore, let me go here. You understood this? How the how it is sufficient but not kind of this condition is required. Which condition? Then in order to uh, see for the adverse pressure gradient, let me write here that necessary and sufficient condition for closed separations are necessary, necessary and sufficient conditions for flow separation for flow separations are the first one is that is dou p by dou x is should be greater than 0 and the other one is dou u by dou i right which is less than 0 right at this is at y equal to 0 okay these are the two conditions okay this thing you should keep in mind the other is other condition is this is the other condition okay these two condition should require only the oh, this condition is not sufficient okay guys you understood any doubts up till now i think with this we have completed this uh, boundary layer theory we will next move on to the quarti flow okay in the next class okay we will move on to the quarti flow quarti flow the whether i write the spelling correct or i don't know please check the spelling this is a quarti flow we will start from the next class and thanks for watching thanks for watching my lectures and please don't forget to subscribe like the videos share with your friends and subscribe the channel okay guys thanks okay bye take care see you Yeah, okay, one thing I forgot to tell you, okay, if you have to take a screenshot, I will give you, uh, see, take a screenshot, I will start from first, quickly you take the screenshot of all this. Okay, this is the first screenshot, this is the second, this is third, you stop your videos and take a screenshot, okay, I will not give more time for this. Okay, this is what the adverse pressure gradient is necessary but not a sufficient condition and finally will come that is from this, okay, the necessary and sufficient condition for this flow separation is this is what.
okay the both conditions should satisfy then the flow will be separate okay this is the last slide okay we will see the cottage work in the next class okay guys with this we will stop here thank you